A new study from China says that boba milk tea, yes, the beloved Zunzu Nai Ta, can lead to depression, anxiety, and even be addictive. David, is this a case of correlation or causation? If you drink too much taro, you will not believe in tomorrow. You will be in sorrow and have no money to borrow. Ah! This is going viral right now, Andrew. I'm not going to lie. I can't believe this is real. This is a real study from Beijing, Andrew. Milk tea addiction linked to anxiety, depression amongst youth, and even possibly suicidal ideation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, uh, we're going to look into the study of what we can find, all right? This uh, study comes from China. I, I feel like there's some ulterior motives here to get kids off of boba. But anyways, we're going to get into it. Don't worry. Boba's not going anywhere. But uh, maybe maybe this is a cautionary warning. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys. Uh, but one thing that doesn't cause anxiety, depression for sure is small ass sauce. In fact, it only can spice up your life and spice up any dish you put it on. It will tingle your taste buds and give you a sensation. Yeah, you know the study from Beijing. Uh, the Apply to boba, but not to small eyes. Yeah. For small eyes can only improve your life. David, can you read uh, the study? Or some oh parts my of it? goodness. Well, literally it says this. The damage comes when students use milk tea as a means to self-soothe and escape from their reality. Milk tea can function as a strategy for self-soothing in the face of stressors and difficult emotions like loneliness. Experiencing negative emotions can drive individuals to engage in particular behaviors as means of escape. Andrew, they got correlation factors. Long story short, Andrew, their conclusion was because they, they, they saw that people who drink more boba have a higher level of like suicidal ideation. Our findings highlighted that milk tea consumption may lead to addiction as it is associated with depression, anxiety, and suicidal ideation. Oh my gosh. And then uh, uh, this study was published in last November, found the consumption of milk tea might lead to symptoms of addiction such as craving or dependency, inability to stop, and guilty feelings. Oh my goodness, David. I think there was a lot of comments and... Uh, I guess what do you have your first initial thoughts? Like, what do you think this study is trying to do? Is it a real study or is this like kind of like something lost in translation where they find a correlation, but now it's being worded like it's the causation? Long story short is this. I believe the study was real. I would not be shocked if that's even there's a correlation. Like, I don't think they necessarily made up their, their findings. But yes, the correlation and the causation was so unbelievably clearly like tiger parenting to be like anti-sugar. Possibly there's a Taiwan play in there. I think it has more due to sugar yeah. because Singapore recently launched a war on sugar. Uh... But this was just the most old school, outdated, outmoded, essentially tiger parent way of convincing everybody to stop drinking so much Dude. boba, which will eventually, <laughs> let's be honest, lead to heart disease due to caloric surplus and things like that. I'm not doubting that. But it's just so ridiculous to the outside world. Do you think China's like, yeah, you know, where we have to outlaw boba and we have to find a way because Singapore did it first and Singapore is so successful. So we are going to do what Singapore does and we're going to outlaw boba. Right, like, right. but we're even thinking. going to do Singapore even one up because Singapore, they're just trying to give it a D grade, F grade. For us, we're going to say that you will not see tomorrow if you drink too much taro. Dude, I think it's crazy how this study doesn't want to just look at the stress that students go through, and that's the reason why they go to boba. So I'll say this. Boba is not a healthy drink. I'll say it again. It's never been healthy. It is, it is a dessert drink. It is a nice drink to have that you should have in moderation. Now, I think what is happening really is a lot of kids, they're either lonely, they're either single children, or they're just, they don't love their lives, or they don't love their opportunities. They don't love studying. Studying is very hard. There's the whole gao cow. Like, there's right. these And then there's a number of factors. Being the only child, China's economy is shrinking. Yeah. They didn't handle COVID but, right. So, the, the university system is very rigid, hyper rigid. So in this already somewhat anxious place you're building some anxiety you go for boba which is a tasty drink that's going to make you feel better it's got a lot of sugar it's got calories it's smooth it's creamy it's going to release dopamine it does make you feel good and i just that, had a boba for the first time in a few weeks and it was pretty good and not only that andrew talk about how pleasant boba shops feel 
Yo, that, have you ever seen anybody like insult somebody in a boba shop? Bro, you never seen it happen in the comp. A boba shop is like a country club. Dude, exact. Dude, addicted to boba, the actual product. Why not? It's really as simple as people are just addicted, addicted to going to get boba. David, hey, David, you want to go get boba? Yeah, let's go get boba. It's already a fun time. Right. You know what I mean? So I think people are addicted to going to the boba shop maybe because that's their outlet. That's what's fun. That's associated with being fun and with friends. It's almost like one of the only easy dopamine triggers probably in mainland China, right? Like, I mean, I guess it would be the equivalent of looking at energy drink, Cheeto consumption, potato chip consumption amongst the gamer crowd in America. And then you're drawing this correlation between purchasing like Alienware yeah. performance gaming equipment and like Cheetos and like body fat content, BMIs, or like blood pressure. Yes, they're all correlated though, yeah. but they're not necessarily directly causated, right? Yeah, listen, I'll be honest. If you buy boba and you drink it every single day, then you're clearly reaching for some type of feeling. Mm that you get from boba and you need boba for your comfort it's like your security blanket or something you know what i mean so anyways those are it, it, it's it, there's no there's like i cannot believe that boba would cause depression i could see people who are depressed go for boba even more though makes sense right 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 um why do you think asian parents and it seems like chinese parents in particular because they're the most old school of all the asian parents but Asian parents in general, it depends on how old school your parents are. I understand there's a variance. One parent's old school, one parent's new school. Why do you think they believe they don't really differentiate as much as Western parents between correlation and causation? For example, you get tattoos, you get earrings. You bad, you a gangster, you sell drugs, you do drugs. Is there potentially some correlation between those things, but are they directly causated? But why, yeah. but why do you think that old school Chinese parents, but any, any Asian parents, but particularly Chinese parents, they really believe in correlation almost as an equivalent to causation. Mm. And here's a couple charts. They are different, right? Mm. So basically just to explain the difference, Andrew. So some people are saying, think about it. When the temperature goes up, people, the sunburn rate goes up and ice cream sales go up. So those two things are correlated, ice cream sales and sunburn rates. But the direct causation is the increased weather. So I'm right. saying that how come, but that, but Asian parents would be like, oh my gosh, ice cream sales is going up for sure. It's directly correlated to the sunburn rate. Right. Well, they're basically drawing like a domino impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess people are saying that when you draw domino effects from things, it works and it doesn't, right? Like it's like a heavy handed approach to mitigating downside risk. It's crazy for people to think that it causes depression though. Like, that's just not, like, it just sounds ridiculous. And I don't think people, I think you should just explain to how, how unhealthy it is or how right. costly it is. Right. Doesn't it make more sense? Like, didn't more people start making coffee at home, especially with the pandemic, but they started making more coffee at home once people were like, hey, man, save that right. 550 a day in the morning, and then you can invest that. In, uh, so you invest, like, $28 into the stock market and right. said... What if they just redirected or reorganized their flow chart where they said, yeah, a lot of people who feel like there's no hope for the future and they cannot get ahead in life, they're going to turn to coping mechanisms such as gaming and boba. Right. That would have been a more logical thing without, with, with using still within the frame of the information gathered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, like, dude, definitely like depression is connected to eating unhealthy foods. Eating right. ice cream. Because it makes you boba. feel good, right? Yeah, because you want chips. You just want the things that make you feel good. No one gets depressed and then go eats kale. Doesn't happen. That's a good point. Um, somebody just said murder rates and ice cream sales also peak around the same time in America. Do you what do you guys think, Andrew? Murder rates, because Andrew, in the summer, in human interactions are increased. Gun deaths actually soar in America, but so do ice cream sales. Yeah, yeah, Correlation yeah, yeah. versus people causation. People off school, right? people taking breaks, vacation, yeah. Somebody said, everything in this woke generation causes anxiety, man. This shit is so stupid, man. Uh, um, of course, other people were saying, you know, uh, for me, a, a spot of tea actually calms me down. It seems highly unlikely it causes depression. But these people were European and they have tea time. European tea time is different than boba time. Would you agree? Yeah. European tea time is not treated like a dessert. Nah. I feel like it's treated more like a 
part of brunch, lunch, I don't know. I don't even know. It just serves a different societal function. Somebody said, what's the difference between this and getting a mocha frappuccino from Starbucks? Is that the equivalent? I, I'm not fr Asian. Can somebody explain it to me? Uh, I would go ahead and say the frappuccino probably has more caffeine because it's coffee-based. Um, equal amount of calories would you agree probably a mocha, a mocha peppermint mocha frappuccino uh, yeah probably similar but boba if you jam pack it with the boba pearls and brown sugar it probably has a little bit more calories um but just as much milk and cream someone said uh for example i am a middle america white man and i've been noticing my daughter is 12 and she has been asking me to go get boba tea quite often it, but ultimately it seems just part of a uh, certain youth culture just like animes it's all new to me yeah i think the only issue about boba it's it's like getting a milkshake but you know how like milkshakes you can't get every day but there's kind of something about boba that makes you want to get it every day so it's a little sneaky in those calories because people are like, yeah, I could drink a boba four or five times a week, but you wouldn't say, oh yeah, I get four or five milkshakes a week. Yeah. But it's probably the same amount of calories. Do you have any uh, thoughts on middle America, their children being exposed to boba, now the kids that are like 10 years old? Because I've seen that because there is yeah. a country ass part of Seattle. If you guys know about Seattle, it gets real rural like the second you get like 40 minutes out of the city. I remember in Covington, there's like a ton of boba shops now and I see kids with like, freckles that look like they're like they never seen an asian before getting boba like once a week yeah no i would i would yeah but i think you just got to make sure you put it in the dessert category like you're not eating boba more than you eat ice cream do you, you think I mean? like the older grandpas are like so are you saying this is kind of like the ice cream soda parlors of the 1942s yeah it? it is it is exactly. instead of a banana split you're just getting this mango passion fruit yeah man oh banana splits are really good Dude, I miss I the miss ice those. cream soda parlors. I'm not going to lie. Uh, too much this ice Indian cream, comment said, there are two types of humans on earth. There is homo sapiens, then there is Chinese. <laughs> I'll say this, man. I just think the Chinese are the most different for how pro high profile they are and how much they produce. Okay. Like, they're just like, it's hard to understand. Yeah. They produce a lot, but they're just really different. Somebody said... I wish people would realize that a habit is not an addiction. Learn the differences. Very few substances cause hardcore addiction. Other cries, other addictions are simply cravings, not a physical reaction to something stopping. Even cocaine and meth are not addictions. They are habits and cravings. For example, are these addicts going through physical withdrawal symptoms? I had to look this up. Because I was like, whoa, Wait, what a statement. Cocaine is they not said that co this person claimed that cocaine and meth are not addictive. So here's what I looked up. Whoa. It is true that the withdrawal effects are not as extreme as, for example, and this is crazy to talk about on our channel, heroin. Right, heroin is like super strong. Yes, so that is what they're talking about. They're talking about extremity of withdrawal. And I guess that it is true that even of hard drugs, they, there's different ranks of withdrawals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, basically yeah. this person was claiming, Andrew, that if we have to have like different addiction levels, almost like burn levels, Addiction level one, addiction level two, you know, like a third degree burn, a second degree burn. I mean, now we're getting real technical with everything, but wow, I, I can see wow, it. Wow, wow. Someone said, leave it to the CCP to blame these issues on a coffee drink instead of their oppressive policies or maybe their collapsing economy and different things that the youth are probably stressed out about. How much do you think it is that they were just, that, that, that there's a lot of things going on in China. And so the, the agency's blaming the boba but the people are just going to the boba because all the other things are happening. All right, it's not really a war on boba until Xi Jinping comes out and says it, all right? I mean, these are all just little studies that get kind of blown out of proportion because they get spread on the internet They're and go They're, viral. It's a good headline. So it's not really the biggest issue. I don't think they think boba is a huge issue, but I think the message here, and I wish China would just say this instead, would just educate people on calories. And that would make, people more healthy versus like you know what i mean no, like this give is them a like a old auntie telling you to eat a lot of carrots just, or else you're just, gonna go blind just do what singapore does man just do what singapore does you mean go with the grading system just do what singapore does man they got it right man for the most part just just <laughs> follow them hey they still got some old like known twin holdovers ways of doing things though Dude, um this is some superstition right this is some classic chinese superstition <gasps> yeah don't drink boba Okay? Or your life will be over. Okay? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> man, I'll say this. Don't get boba with your buddy or you cannot study. 
Um, I definitely think it's an old school thing in Asia to really not differentiate between correlation and causation. And uh, obviously when it suits them, people still slip into some old school thinking patterns. You know what I mean? Whether it's TCM, I'm not going to lie, guys. I, we got to move on from that too, probably. David, if you continue to eat and drink all the tapioca pearls, you will never find a girl. Um, you know what I've realized, though, about correlation and causation, Andrew? A lot of Asian parents, you know how they're always flipping out? They're like, oh, you smoke weed once, you're going to die. You know what I mean? Because they're basically thinking in their head, your probability of adopting bad degenerate behaviors has just jumped up. Three yeah. percent, but that three percent to them is everything. Right, right. Well, that's three hundred percent more than what they thought you were at. They're like, "Oh my God, why you do? Oh, my son is dying." They're like, "Man, They're like you just moved from one percent degen to four percent degen. That is a four hundred percent increase." Dude, I'll tell you a couple stories. I remember one time I was accidentally speeding, maybe like eight miles over the speed limit with my mom, and we passed by a cop car that was pulling over another car. And I remember mom just acted like I shot somebody. She was like, no, it's over. And another time, I got to say this, our cousin's wife, who was more from, you know, whatever, from rural China, she screamed at us for ordering cold water at dim sum before. I'm saying that that's the equivalent of this study. Like, I'm just like, man, sometimes some of this stuff is so old school. But yeah, of course, guys, sugar, it can cause visceral fat. You know, it can domino into a bunch of other issues. High fructose corn syrup. I'm sure that's ultimately what they're trying to caution against. But the methodology is just very old and villagey. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this study. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.